Welcome to our channel Bright Maths. In this video, we are going to learn the shortcut for multiplication. First, let us multiply 104 into 5. This 5 can be taken as 10 by 2. That means we have to divide this number by 2 and then multiply by 10. So the shortcut method is take half and add 0. Divide by 2 means we have to take half of this number. Multiply by 10 that means we have to add 0 at the back. Now using this technique we can multiply the numbers very easily. We have to take half of this number 104 that is 52 and then add 0 at the back. Therefore the answer is 520. Next let us multiply the numbers 288 into 5. We follow the same method take half and then add 0 at the back. Take half of this number 288 that is 144 and then add 0 at the back. That's all. Therefore the answer is 1440. Similarly next we can multiply 425 into 5. Here also we follow same method. Take half of this number and then add 0. Taking half of this number we get 212.5. Next step add 0 at the back. That means we have to multiply by 10. So this multiply by 10 only simply we say add 0 at the back. So if we multiply by 10 we can remove one decimal point. So removing this decimal point we get the answer 2125. Next let us multiply the numbers by 25. First let us multiply 84 into 25. Here this 25 is taken as 100 by 4. That is 100 by 2 into 2. That means we have to divide this number by 2 into 2. This simply we can take like this, take half of this number twice because in denominator we have 2 into 2. So take half of this number twice and then multiply by 100. This we can take it like this easily add double zero at the back. So now we can multiply this 84 into 25 very easily using this shortcut technique. Take half twice and then add double zero. Taking half of this 84, we get 42. Again take half of this 42, we get 21. And then add double zero at the back. So the answer is 2100. Next let us multiply 528 into 25. We follow the same method, take half twice and then add double zero at the back. Taking half of this number, we get 264. Now again we have to take half of this number. So again divide by 2, we get 132. So like that we have to take half twice and then add double zero at the back. So the answer is 13200. Next let us multiply 645 into 25. Here also we follow the same method. Take half of this number twice and then add double zero at the back. Taking half of this that is divide by 2 for this 6 half is 3. For this 4 half is 2, for this 5 half is 2.5. Again taking half of this, 
for this 3 if we divide by 2 1 time balance 1 so next 12 12 divide by 2 we get 6 next 2 divide by 2 we get 1 this 0.5 taking half we get 0.25 next step we have to add double zero at the back that means multiply by 100 so this multiply by 100 only simply we say add double zero at the back when we multiply by 100 we have to remove two decimal places so we can remove this point so we get the answer 16125 next let us multiply the numbers by 125 here this 125 is nothing but 1000 divided by 8 that is 1000 divided by 8 is 2 into 2 into 2 so we have to take half of this number thrice so 3 times we have to divide this number by 2 after that multiply by 1000 so this simply we can remember like this take half thrice and then add triple zero remember to multiply by 5 5 is a single number so add single zero to multiply by 25 25 is two digit number so add two zeros and now 125 is three digit number so add three zeros and now the method is take half thrice and then add triple zero see the number is 68 taking half of this number 68 we get 34 this is first half again taking half of this number we get 17 this is second half again taking half of this number we get 8.5 so this is only the third half so like this we have to take half thrice that is three times after that add triple zero at the back that means multiply by thousand so this multiply by thousand only simply we say add triple zero at the back for one zero we can remove one decimal point and then add double zero at the back we get 8500 0. next let us multiply 852 into 125 we follow the same method take half thrice and then add triple zero at the back take half of this number 852 we get 426 again taking half of this number we get 2 1 3 again taking half of this number we get 1 0 6 point 5 and then add triple zero that means multiply by 1000 for 1 0 we can remove one decimal point so remove this decimal point and remaining we have two zeros that we have to add at the back so we get 106500 next let us multiply 980 into 125 we follow the same method take half thrice and then add triple zero at the back here the number is 980 take half of this number we get 490 again taking half of this number we get 245 again we have to take half of this number that is 122.5 next step add triple zero that means multiply by thousand for one decimal point we can remove one zero so remaining we have two more zeros so that we have to add at the back so the answer is 122500 like this we can multiply any number by 5 
ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वेरी फास्टली यूजिंग दिस शार्टकट मेथड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग